Hey, what's going on guys? It's The Last Viking TV back again. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Um, I wanna really say thank you to all of those subscribers that have just recently subscribed. I am truly grateful for all of you guys. Thank you so much. Um, and, uh, well, this last weekend we did our last practice, which was, uh, we finally flipped the big one and it was 16 feet, 80 pounds. And it is, for those of you that are into the Highland Games, you'll know that to flip in an 80 pound, 16 foot caber is not an easy task. It's, it's fairly difficult. Um, so, um, although there are some people that are able to flip, um, I think 100 pounds, at around 16, 19 feet, like that. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a lot more easier to grab standards. But, you know, I'm not gonna make any ex excuses on why it's difficult, but it just is. So, um, so yeah, anyways, thanks, well, what the hell is that? Thanks for subscribing to my channel, guys, again. So anyways, this last weekend, we, again, we flipped the caber, 16 feet, 80 pounds. Um, as you saw, I threw my first light hammer, which was 100 feet, um, give or take a pound or so off, um, which probably would have flown just about the same. Um, but in, in competitions, you know, you feel the pressure, so you're wanting to pull even harder and you're wanting to pull even stronger. So I'm pretty confident that I would still hit 100 plus um, on that light hammer, which, which is pretty damn good. Um, for, you hear a lot of those people saying that they threw 100 or 110, 120, and that it's like no big deal. Well, keep in mind that the, the, the world record, which is held by Daniel McKim, who is, I think, a pretty cool guy. Um, he's, he's definitely a family man now. Um, I don't really see him doing too much in Highland Games. But, uh, you know, I started... When I started doing Highland Games, I watched a lot of his videos um, on how to throw, how to lift. Um, a lot of the things that um, I think a lot of beginners should watch is he's very uh, instructive in his, in his videos and he really shows you how to throw and how to do this or that. So that's definitely a good benefit for a lot of beginners. Um, some of the intermediate to advanced stuff that I will be covering over in my video now. I've um, been doing this since 2017 and now it's 2019. Uh, so for two years now, I think I got some room to talk. Um, and this year will be three events. I will be doing three competitions this year just because, you know, I have a very busy life. I work a lot. <laughs> so, um, and I don't really have time to take off. But uh, anyway, so I'll be doing three events this year. My first one was at the Queen Mary, as you guys saw in my previous videos on this channel, placing second. Then May 26th, we'll be at the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds in Costa Mesa, California. Um, I hope to see all you guys there. If you see me, please do feel free to stop by and uh, shout a holla. Um, <laughs> and uh, just let me know you subscribe, all right? Um, I will also be handing out um, my YouTube channel subscription uh, business cards so you guys can uh, keep a business card with you and take it home so you'll not have to write it down or memorize it. It'll be easy, so you'll have access to checking out the Highland Game videos from this year's uh, Scots Fest at the Costa Mesa Fairgrounds. Now, how is the fatigue? Well, the fatigue, um, it being only Tuesday and we practice on a Sunday, two days after, I'd say the fatigue is not so bad. Uh, Monday, the fatigue was pretty bad. It was setting in. Um, pumped up some creatine and some BACAs or BCAAs and some, uh, some other stuff. But uh, that was it. Um, 
But yeah, definitely with this uh, training regimen, definitely staying away from the alcohol, staying away from beer and stuff like that because it really, really screws with your with your body and how it, you know, functions. Sorry, if you're wondering why I gotta stop and keep stopping and changing the video and I'm in different scenes, but my dogs keep doing their thing, so I have to stop and pick it up, so. Responsible dog owner, oh yeah. But anyway, so, yeah. If you guys are interested into the Highland Games and you guys find that the stuff that I do in my training and competitions are of interest to you, please make sure you hit that subscription button. I am trying very hard very hard um, to tell the world about the Highland Games and really what we do as Scotsmen and Highlanders. Um, and as you know, you don't need to be a Scotsman to, to play these games. You can just be some badass who thinks that you're strong enough and you know, you've pretty much maxed out in the gym. Come and give the Highland Games a try and see how you do. It won't be anything that you're familiar with. Um, and it takes a lot of training actually a lot of training you work muscles that you never knew were there <laughs> seriously um, everything hurts everything um, and so very few people know about that type of training and, but it is just like any other unique style training like martial arts or I don't know CrossFit CrossFit's definitely a workout that can be compared to this style um, but that's pretty much it um, but if you guys haven't already please make sure you hit that subscription button share with all your friends and family um, I don't have or use like social media outlets so if you guys could share this video link or the channel link with all your friends and family help get the word out um, once I do get significant amount of subscribers, um, I don't have a problem. I usually, my other channel that I had, I typically like to give away like gifts, whether that be like gift cards or, or something, um, or even maybe, um, I can even talk to one of my sponsorships if you guys are into uh, purchasing um, kilts. If you guys want to get a kilt, I can purchase a, get a kilt for you guys, and I can give you my code. Uh, my code for sportkilt.com is Viking19. Again, that's Viking19. And you guys can use that code to um, purchase and get a discount on your kilts. And um, then, then you'll get a discounted kilt. <laughs> But anyway, so um, Sport Kilt is definitely um, a very cool company to work with. Um, I love the fact that they sponsor me. So, you know, whenever it feels so, so good to have a company that believes in what you're doing and believes that, that your growth and that your start um, has, has a lot of uh, pathways and a lot of opportunities. So, um, you know, I already got like, what, 80 videos up right now, 80 videos on my channel. So definitely growing um, and uh, definitely looking for other sponsorships because I can never have enough. <laughs> but anyway, so guys, um, again, if you haven't hit that subscription video, uh, button already, please do so and share with all your friends and family on social media, send it through text messages watch the videos all the way through because there's always something changing at every minute of the video. It's not just the same thing throughout the whole video. Just check the whole video, watch it all the way through. And I appreciate your time and your support in my channel. And yes, I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers. Doesn't see, it seems like a long ways away, but trust me, with your help, it can happen very fast. So please, help me make it happen, support this channel, Thanks for everything, guys. Till next time.